ceiling. If you're looking for me, you know just where to find me. I'm on a part with TC, with TC. Oh, I'm on a part with TC. I'm getting, you know, I mean, even as you know, like five, six years ago, like right. you will be on here, you know, talking to them. You know, you know what I mean? Um, and manifestation is very, very important. Um, because he's even after doing all this Wilson Block party, I'm like, no, I'm a host coach, Coachella. Yeah, I'm a host Coachella in the Grammys. I love it. Like that's gonna happen. So I'm in the lane. You recreate the bar for yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what and once and it's and I don't even look at it like dreams, right. like like goals. Like once you're in that space, how many host hosts are? Like they use people from different fields to do the job. Right. So you strictly position yourself. You know what I mean? Like, come on, like, right? Yeah. So um, that, everything that I went through in athletics, um, playing college football, going to school in Louisiana, I went to an HBCU, nice. Southern University in Louisiana. Shout out to HBCUs. So shout out to HBCUs. Yes. Very, very important. I wanted to see uh, more of us, even as adults, supporting HBCUs, right. being fans of those institutions, yeah. um, even if you don't go there. Um, so maybe your little cousin who want to go there because they seen a hat right. or a flag. You know what I mean? And when you're down there, you see that. It's so ingrained in the culture. Right. Um, so being able to experience that at 17 years old right. and um, and come back 20 years old, a man with a child, you know right. what I mean? And I had three semesters of school that I finished up in um, Columbus before moving to Pittsburgh. Gotcha. And so that really brings us to the beginning. Right. Um, I, my grandmother called me Maybe in I graduated in May, so maybe she maybe she called me a little bit earlier. She called me before I graduated. She said, "You know, I want, I want you to come down. I want to groom you to take over the business." Right. And, and real quick before we fit, let's give your grandmother proper respect, man, because um, as I learn more about her, you know, she's a pillar in uh, you know someone who should be marveled be just based on what she was able to do with her career path. Um, so I just wanted to throw that in there. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I know, absolutely. I know you're probably getting right, to right, that's right, you did. Y'all probably hear me say grandmother <laughs> a lot, too. And sometimes I call her Connie, you know what I mean? Because gotcha. not out of disrespect, because she's been like a mother to me as well. Right. Especially with my mom being so young. Right, right, you know what right. I mean? She's um, stepped up, especially where my dad couldn't in right. town, you know what I mean, finding himself uh, behind bars. But my grandmother, Connie Spearman, uh, Pillar Graham, love you. Um, yeah. Definitely um, our, our leader. She started her home health care agency in 2000, right? right? So um, there are, I guess there are some agencies that were around before then, but I don't know them. I, I just <laughs> learned the one, I just learned the one when I was, uh, you know, touting that my grandmother's one of those, one of the longest uh, minority businesses, you know what I mean? One of, you know, and, and, and large businesses too. Right. Like I'm sure there's stores and little things that have been going on before then. Um, but it's something for us to be proud of. Absolutely. Started at 7134 Upland Street. Mm. Um, and it started out of the need to take care of her mother. Gotcha. She was working a full-time job, right. working at National City, working at Triangle Tech, right? And had her mom, her mom got sick, couldn't live alone no more, couldn't work anymore, right. and needed to move with her. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, but home ownership plays a strong role in that. The house that she started the business in, and where she was able to take care of her mother, was my dad's mm -hmm. paternal grandmother, gotcha. Willa okay. Mae Rice. And that's why I get my name for her. Gotcha. So I get, you know what I mean, for me, for this is gold right here. Like, yeah, this, this clip, this clip, but it ain't really been told. You know what I mean? Like that. So um, yeah. being able, that's where I get my rice name from. Gotcha. It's from my dad's, you know what I mean? You know, and that's something I that definitely take pride in for right. sure. Right. And that's where, I, that's where I'm from Homewood. You know right. what I mean? Like, like where your grandma stayed. <laughs> 7134 Upland. Um, and that house is still in our family. Okay. You know what I mean? The house is still in our family. Nice. Um, you know, which, which is dope. Um, you know what I mean? The, the reason isn't so um, benevolent, but it's still in the family. Right. You know what I mean? There's somebody still living there. You know, many situations where that's not the case. Right. And you know what I mean? They lose the property. Somebody's exactly. not interested in it. And so, um, you know, home ownership, right? Um, a mother's love. You know what I mean? Right. Leaving something behind for your kids, for your grandkids. When I was born, I had seven grandmothers. Mm -hmm. I was born so young, I had seven grandmas when I was born. Yeah. But the same year that I was born, within months, my dad's dad and his grandmother, so my dad's dad and his dad's mom, died. Mm -hmm. um, within, you know what I mean, like within yeah. months of me being born. Right. Um, so it was all, you know what I mean, and then being born in middle schoolers. Like, you know, two middle schoolers, right. you know, <laughs> conspired to make me. You know what I mean? So, right. you know, people say, I, don't, I wasn't born with no silver spoon. Right. And sometimes people think because of my grandmother's success that that's the case. But I grew up in Columbus. Right. And my grandmother started her business in 2000. I was nine. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had all that. She called you to come because she wanted to No, no, she called me. No, no, no. She called me 
in 2013. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? So, you know what I mean? Like, I grew up around this business and did not, did not want to be a part of it. Gotcha. You know what okay. I mean? If my cousins and stuff worked there, my dad worked there. Right. It didn't seem like the type of place that I would want to be. Right. I don't want to be dealing with y'all. You know what I mean? Right. Because I also didn't grow up around them. Gotcha. So I was one of those people who would be like, you ain't my cousin. Like, I don't, like, I don't know you. Like, I'm like, you feel me? Like, right. you ain't really my... And, you know, I got out of that now and I do see and value family. Um, but knowing your family's history is, right. is important. My grandfather, um, who was married to Willem Wayne Rice, and Willem, and you're going, you're going to be recognized by the courier Tonight, yes. 40 under 40, right? Appreciate um, it. So that's the plug, you know, shame, you know, yeah. shame is plug. That's the big, but my grandmother, Willa May, used to work for the courier. Okay. Okay? Yeah. She used to work for the courier. Um, and I found out so much about my grandmother. I Googled her name one day, right. and um, she, her name came up in the Teeny Harris archives. Mm. There are hundreds of photos of my grandmother over the course of like 30 years. Um, in, in the Teen Years archives. Right. Like, and for those who don't know who Teen Years is, look them up. Right. Great, great, <laughs> you know, great um, photographer, yeah. filmmaker, you know, all you know, all of that, um, just a renaissance man. Yes. Um, and, and it's a burn in renaissance times again. It's the right. 20s. And history repeats itself, right? Yes. But um, from like the 30s to like the 60s or the 70s, there was like photos of my grandmother. So I'm able to like look, like Google her name right. or look, go to Teen Years archives on the Carnegie Media. On saltcoma.com, right? right? That's what's Type her name yeah. in and see decades worth of photos. Right. So like, not just like, oh, you got this, uh, you know what I mean? This is your, this is your, like, this photo album, right? Or you know what I mean? Like, and that's so genuine. But to see my grandmother in this professional and prominent role yeah. each and every time, and and I'll say what I noticed is my grandmother was kind of tall, mm -hmm. but she was always in the center of every photo. Okay. Right, and as a man who studied forty eight laws of power, started other work, you notice that we placed what's in the you know what I mean what's in the in the center was exactly. important, yeah, right? Yeah, and then yeah. work your way out. Exactly. She was in the center of all of those photos. And she was she was a philanthropist as well. Right. Um, there's 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 pictures of her giving the big check, just like we did at the wing of Max Smackdown. Right. Her giving a big check to people. You know what I mean? Um, you know, so I have you know, just being able to tie it and grow up knowing that rich history. Right. And I don't know, I mean, how far along would I have been if I could be like, my grandmother's name is Willa Mae Rice and she was a journalist for the new Pittsburgh, for the Pittsburgh Courier. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. to be able to, to stand on that right. or to be raised and be able to tell your kids, like, this is who your grandmother was and this is why you, should, this is why you got to take your English class serious. Right. You can't get no C on your English paper because your grandmother was a, a renowned journalist. Right. You know what I mean? And um, you know, and then even in that way speaking up for the people. Yeah. Right? You know, that's what she did. I think she did editorial work and um and she worked with teen years. Okay. And so that's the reason why she was able to be photographed. I also on the shot on that one of teen years, I Googled my 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 address. Yeah. Right. Um there's a picture of two men across the street from my house. My house isn't even built yet. Mm. You can see where my house is behind these men, right. and they are brothers who were class presidents at Perry. Perry's like right up the hill from my house, gotcha. and so they're, um, I can't remember their last names, but they're right across the street. Okay. So I put in my I put in my street name and my my I'm um, um, fourteen, and they was at ten gotcha. on the block. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was like wow, you know what I mean? But so I mean even to be able to take the homewood. Right. And look at that and see those old photos. Right. If you haven't done it, if you haven't looked up the Carnegie Museum, the Teeny Harris archives, which are available online for you to view online, yeah. strange job, you know what I mean, repost, right. you know, um, please do so. You right. know what I mean? Please do so. Um, we actually wanted to, in the hallway in our office, want to get some of her pictures printed out yeah. and, you know, kind of do like a, um, you know, like a little dedicated little wall to it. Like a montage or you right. know, something you know like I mean? her. Yeah. And, and as a real estate developer, right, yeah. to be able to be like, I can name a building after my grandma. Yeah, that's I, can, I can do a senior building, have the whole government pay for the whole thing, Absolutely. and name it the Will of May Rice Towers. Absolutely, and I, and I love the passion and the pride you take in explaining all that, um, just because I was like, as you're talking, I'm in awe because, one, you're educated enough to know your history and your family lineage, which you don't see many of us right. in the community right. do the research and study. Right, and I had um, to do the research. It wasn't like my mom, my grandma Connie had told me, right. but... To be, but to run into it, right. to post pictures of her, and then people start DMing you like, that's your grandmother? Yeah. I know her. 
man, listen, a dude, a man, a, a man in his sixties, DM me just the, just like just like two weeks ago and asked me was I my grandma, my grandfather, because his name was Brandon Rice. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So he asked me was I him, and I'm like, nah, like, that's my granddad. And he was like, oh, how is he? And I'm like, he been right. dead for 32 years, but. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, yes, to be able, so that's the value in knowing your history yeah. because um, there's been so many people. My grandmother was also, my grandmother, Willa May, was also uh, fundamental in, in uh, bringing, like, setting up the Mount Zion AME Church in the that's hill crazy. and bringing that here, right. you know what I mean, to Pittsburgh. Like, that whole movement, she was a part of that. Um, and so she had some of her articles and some of her awards and stuff, like, in the article.